Well, it's May 1st. Just got back from Crappy Tire. Uh, bought a wheelbarrow. And uh, was going to do some work in the garden. But I was also going to go pick up a new garden tiller. But at the same time, this, this old guy right here, which is virtually the same as the new one that's 500 bucks. So a new one of these is 500 bucks. So this one I kind of threw into here and uh, so smacked it with the tractor pretty good. So I plan to bring it inside to work on it most likely. Oh, I think that's a little bit more damage than when I put it back last time. That must be where I pushed it with the tractor or did I throw it? I can't really remember. I just said, fuck it. The throttle's unhooked. I mean, it has compression. Okay, so now I'm starting to remember. This isn't the carburetor made for this unit. So that carburetor is actually off a weed whacker that I shoved on here. That's why I wasn't able to use uh, this spacer slash throttle bracket. Okay, so before I go any further, give her a shot of uh, chlorinated brake clean. Oh, non-chlorinated. Wait a minute. Okay. Non-chlorinated, but I had chlorinated. Interesting. Oh, yeah. That one there's chlorinated. See what happens. Well, that tells me at least the engine itself sounds good, hey? Well, I gotta see something. non chlor Ah! You know, I was saying in my last video about the Honda Odyssey that I was using chlorinated brake clean. Ah! Oh, well, I was wondering why I wasn't getting fucking stoned. Spraying it inside here. Normally get pretty stoned from that stuff. So, yeah, okay, that kind of makes sense. Well, I just found what I believe is the original carburetor off it right here. So I can at least maybe order a replacement. I'm going to have to say this is probably the worst one I have seen. Look at that. Ugh. Look at the needle and seat. Like, ugh. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. <laughs> Oh wow, she's just a little bit plugged up, isn't she? Cool. Wow. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, that carburetor is a Walbro WT, uh, what was it, a 804. And yeah, seems like you can't really buy a Chinese knockoff of it. Uh, not that I have seen. Wow, is it windy today? And it was just raining all week. So, didn't get much done, but did go shopping. Give you a hint where I went. Five cans of brake clean. That's to wash off the Toyota diesel motor. Yes, I said motor, not engine. Uh, giant ass funnel, but I got plans for that. And also filters. You're not shoving milk. Never mind. Uh, a little bit of jerky. There's a lot more than that. We ate most of it. A couple rodent traps. Well, I don't know where those disappeared, but got some rope. I'm going to wrap the go kart tires in this. I got. Uh, a set of these hinges here which are gate hinges but they're actually going to be used on the door for that to give it more of a rustic look and a sprayer and you know some of this got stuff here normally this is for uh pulling conduit through pipes but in this case it's going to go in my uh bug out style bag this stuff's rated for 1200 well breaking strength 1250 pounds so that stuff is awesome uh wheelbarrows all fully assembled here so we'll be using that sooner or later uh, use some motorcycle grip glue to glue on the grip so they should never move. Uh, garden update's doing pretty good. Oh, no way, Lizzie. Are you wanting to eat some of my, uh, jerky proxy? Oh, I also picked up a tiller, but that's going to be a separate video. And I picked up an engine stand, too. But you guys can read upside down. Yeah, just a little cheap tiller, so. Well, I don't and know a sprinkler what. sprinkler, too. Oh, and a fancy sprinkler thing, yeah. So went what in else did we get? lots. Oh, God. A lot of it's garden related and stuff, but I mean it was raining. The rain just stopped and it's about 30, 40 kilometer an hour winds and then gusting up to like 60, 70 in some areas. But should have seen stop signs were going like this in the wind. <laughs> they were waving at us, but okay, well, I think I'm gonna probably get to installing the tiller or installing setting it up and we'll see. <laughs> and uh yeah. Okay, so I was playing around with my old uh, 
tiller and decided he yeah, she's not gonna run so I just put the old carburetor in a bucket and uh, went to pick this guy up so it was on sale for 199 bucks Canadian looks like they retail for about 200 US normally poo poo's kind of supervising or maybe she wants what's in that bag right there yes jerky <laughs> Okay, so it looks like it sat in the sun for a while by the color from the straps bleeding off right there. But let's get you guys a little shot of the box if anyone's interested. That's the French frog side. And uh, you guys want to see the specs right there? There you go. So I guess I'll uh, open it up and uh, see. But it's a 43cc. The speed for the RPM on the Tines are, uh, what to say, 250, so it's not too bad, so we'll see. Okay, well, I guess I'll open it up and we'll see if it's uh, worth it. And I also just got some, uh, where is it, uh, pre-mixed fuel in the cans right there. So, no, I'm not using the start you bastard on it. That's for another project, but we'll see how well this thing works. And uh, I'll probably make a separate video about this because the uh, garden, as you can see in the background, over there has a bunch of smaller beds and uh, this, this makes it what tiller number six that we own <laughs> so this is uh, probably the only new one I yeah the only new one I ever bought and it's probably one of the probably one that we'll probably use mostly because we do got the three-point tractor one uh, normal one with like a 212 cc another smaller one that's a 30 cc and then I got the one on the weed whacker so the Ryobi branded one. So I'll probably use that one a little bit too, I think. But pretty sure this is going to do 99% of the work. And it comes with a pretty interesting user manual. And for some reason, it comes with serial number stickers. Does that mean there's no serial numbers on the device itself? A couple zip ties. So, huh. Oh, five-year warranty, hey? Hmm. Maybe then I won't be running the cheap fuel through it. I mean, a good fuel. Viper. Yeah, it's a Viper branded engine, so I hear some coronavirus in the background. <laughs> okay, well, that's a little bit smaller of a handle. I think I need a bigger workbench. I guess I will just pull it all out because it's going to be too hard to actually do a proper unboxing, I think, by myself. But there you guys go. You can see it. Ha <laughs> ha! And yeah, this is a little bit bigger, I think, than the, the other one I got. So the MTD or whatever brand, but you know, decent sized fuel tank, a couple flapper dinghies on it. Standard recoil. And uh, yeah. Ooh, she a fancy looking one. <laughs> they call it a Viper branded, branded motor, but I think that's probably only for them. Who knows actually who actually makes that motor, but looking at it, it almost looks like the little 50cc two-stroke Honda clone style one, but I don't know. Ooh, that is metal up here. I thought that might have been plastic, but that recoil covers metal. That's bonus. This is the right one, right? She brought us the right one? Yep, it is. It actually looks, to be honest, a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, let's cut some zip ties and give her a try. Okay, so I just went outside and uh, maybe I'll show you guys if you don't believe me. Look at those trees. Doesn't do the justice, but back of my truck. Freaking windy as frig outside, so I'm going to go take it outside, give it a try, and then I'll try to get some footage after. So the first start, I'll just tell you how, how it went pretty much, so... I'm going to go play around for a bit, see if it works the way I expect it to. Okay, so it's very windy out here, but you guys see the throttle? That's all the movement I get out of it. It doesn't actually start to do anything till right there. Now, it could just be that, you know, they don't want you to use it at a high RPM, but we'll see. I got the stake out right now and the wheels there, but I'm going to adjust that after I make sure she runs. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna play around in here for a few minutes. Okay, so again, it's uh, watch out, it doesn't glitch. By the way, the phone's been glitching lately. 
That should be the full deepness right there. I'm not going to put in the peg just yet. Okay, so let's start with turning it to the on position. I think that would be the best way to start. <laughs> uh, see when I start getting gas. I'm priming it right now. Holy smokes, I wish you primed me that well. And uh, choke on right there, so watch out in case it takes off. Yeah. That's all she had. Well, throw her in the dirt. Let's see her go. I'm going to let her run for a second. She's brand new. Oh, my might okay. <laughs> She's still cold, so. I'm sure that I'm going to have to adjust that. She's quiet. It's cold. I know it's cold out here. A bit lower speeds than I thought but someone's cold I guess but you know it's pretty decent uh, I gotta check and see because to me I think it's only it actually is only getting like a quarter throttle but at the same time that could be the way it's designed so I don't know but I mean it's working now we got that whole 
a truckload of soil to go back on top of this. So we're not worried about bringing this right down right now, but this is actually fluffed up really nice. So, and uh, it actually was raining earlier today, so it is pretty wet too. <laughs> but that's the way all the other beds are looking throughout here. And the idea is to knock the sand off before I bring the tiller through. Uh, and again, I had the three-point tiller and I had, uh, you know, the normal six-horse tiller and uh, a few other ones, but I think this is going to work out good. I mean, if I tried to till right through this stuff, I guarantee it I'd have trouble. <laughs> so that is not going to happen. <laughs> but I mean, it's small uh, because we're doing garden boxes and stuff. It's kind of why we needed a smaller one in here, but so far so good. So... Uh, Today is April, May 2nd, so today is May 2nd. I'll probably keep this video from going online until after tilling season and uh, kind of do an update on how it's going. So I think that's going to be the best bet than trying to throw up a video just after this. Again, I bought this at my local PV Mart and I paid full price, so no one sent it to me. Kind of a, a little bit almost impulse buy, but at the same time, uh, I do have the Ryobi weed whacker with a tiller on it too. It just hurts the back after a while swinging it side to side where this uh, seems so much quicker and for 199 bucks you gotta admit that's pretty good okay well i'm gonna throw her in this shed and might do some more tomorrow but i have a really good feeling that this is going to be uh waiting a, a week or so girlfriend wants to knock all the sand off the grass first <laughs> 